Today, we are diving into another topic in the data fundamental series, understanding data types in the context of data management and analysis. Why should you learn this? How does understanding the data types benefit you? Each data type has different characteristics that impact how businesses operate. Each type can also impact decision making differently. So having a deeper understanding of these nuances and implications is critical for modern businesses to grow and stay competitive. To keep it simple, imagine data as the building blocks of a skyscraper. Just as each block contributes to the stability of the structure, understanding the characteristics of data types ensures the strength and reliability of your data systems. Now that we have laid the groundwork for understanding data types, let's break down what you'll learn in this video. By end of this video, you should be able to answer what are different data types and what is the difference between them? What are the characteristics of each data type? What are the various storage mechanisms and their respective tools? What are the pros and cons of each data type? Last but not least, what are the different use cases of each data type? All right, let's dive into the details now. What exactly are those data types? You have already encountered them through the title of the video. You're right. They are structured, semi-structured, and unstructured data. Now, let's begin with a quick comparison to understand the high-level difference between these data types before we dive deeper. Data having a predefined structure is defined as a structured data. As the name suggests, structured data is highly organized, much like an Excel spreadsheet, where data can be organized in the form of rows and columns. Whereas unstructured data doesn't have a predefined structure or specific format. Data that lie in this category are audio, video, images, and text files. While semi-structured data has some defining characteristics, but doesn't conform to a structure. It can be organized to some extent, but not unorganized as unstructured data. Think of a .txt file with text that has some structure like headers, paragraphs, etc. With this understanding of high level differences between these data types, let's move on to find out the different characteristics of each data type. Structured data is quantitative while unstructured data is qualitative. Then what about the semi-structured? It contains both quantitative and qualitative elements. Let me elaborate. Structured data deals with numbers, dates, and predefined categories, making it more quantitative. It's like neatly organized information in rows and columns. It's well suited for numerical analysis and statistical calculations. Unstructured data, such as text, images, or videos, is rich in descriptive, non-numeric content. It's more about the qualities and characteristics rather than specific quantities. Extracting insights from unstructured data often involves techniques like reading and understanding text using natural language processing and evaluating sentiments expressed in the text through sentiment analysis. Semi-structured data sits in the middle. It can contain elements of both numbers and descriptive content. For instance, data in JSON or XML formats may include structural numerical values alongside free text descriptions. This flexibility allows for a blend of quantitative and qualitative information within the same data set. Now, let's get a grasp of where the data is stored and what are the different tools to work with each data type. Structured data with its organized and tabular format is commonly stored in what we call relational databases such as MySQL, PostgreSQL, Oracle, and Microsoft SQL Server. These databases provide a structured and efficient way to organize and query data with a predefined schema. As the data volume grows, 
data is stored in data warehouses like Amazon Redshift, Google BigQuery, and Snowflake. Data warehouses are optimized for analytical processing and complex queries, making them suitable for structured data analysis. Moving to unstructured, data such as images, videos, or documents is often stored in object storage services. This is where cloud services like Amazon S3 or Google Cloud Storage come in handy. They provide scalable and durable storage for files of varying sizes. Let's see the storage of semi-structured data. As data starts getting a bit more flexible, like JSON or XML files, they can be stored in what we call NoSQL databases, such as MongoDB or CouchDB. To keep it simple, these databases are like the cool kids who don't mind if your data doesn't fit into a fixed structure. Understanding where to store each data type involves considering factors like scalability, flexibility, and the specific characteristics of the data. Many organizations also adopt a hybrid approach using different storage solutions for different types of data within their overall data architecture. Next up, the pros and cons of these data types. What are the advantages of using structured data? First and foremost, it is user-friendly. Structured data is designed for simplicity. So any user can quickly comprehend and access the information. Additionally, tasks like storing and updating the data are pretty straightforward. Next, analytical ease. With structured data sets, adhering to predefined format, the analysis becomes seamless, especially for advanced machine learning programs. Next, tool compatibility. Structured data has been in use over a long period. This has resulted in enormous tools emerging for its analysis. So, tool compatibility is extremely good with the structured data. As with all things, structured data also comes with several drawbacks. What are they? Primarily limited use cases. While the structure facilitates faster analysis, it's not very flexible. This is because structured data can only be used for its intended purpose. Think of it like a recipe book. If you have a recipe for pancakes, it's great for making pancakes, but only for making pancakes. Not so useful if you want to bake a cake. Next one, format rigidity. What does that mean? Because of the rigid schemas and formats, users will have to restructure their data sets whenever they have to meet new requirements. Consequently, it can be both costly and resource intensive. Okay, let's talk about the pros and cons of unstructured data now. The pros are ease of storage. Unstructured data doesn't need a predefined structure, making it quick and easy to store. Scalable storage. Data scientists can keep unstructured data in data lakes, which are like massive storage spaces with flexible pricing. This not only saves costs, but also makes it easy to handle as your needs grow. Next one, competitive advantage. As the amount of unstructured data keeps growing, companies that effectively use this data may have an advantage over their competitors. The disadvantages are, it needs expertise. Unstructured data is like a puzzle without a clear picture. To make sense of it, Companies need data scientists with expertise in data science. Cybersecurity challenges. Because unstructured data lacks consistency, identifying and protecting sensitive information becomes tricky. This makes unstructured data more vulnerable to cyber attacks compared to structured data. Requires specialized tools. As unstructured data demands the usage of specialized tools like MongoDB, Hadoop, DynamoDB, and Azure, so the maintenance can be costly and requires expertise. Let's move to the pros and cons of semi-structured data. What are its benefits? Scalability. Semi-structured data is like a flexible puzzle. 
making it easy to scale. Businesses can store and analyze a considerable amount of semi-structured data without facing many limitations. Portability and storage. Think of semi-structured data as easily movable and storable. It's more portable and accessible than unstructured data. Computers find it friendlier, making it relatively simple to transfer from one place to another. Next one, versatility. Semi-structured data allows some wiggle room in its structure. You can tweak the schema, but it's closely tied to the data. So while you can adjust, you generally need an idea of data you're after when making queries. What are its drawbacks? Usability challenges. Semi-structured data is not as user-friendly as structured data, but it's better than dealing with unstructured data. Teams often use text analysis designs and machine learning models to analyze semi-structured data. Storage difficulties, another drawback. Unlike structured data with its clear rules, storing semi-structured data can be a bit trickier due to its more flexible nature. Security concerns. Safeguarding semi-structured data is more challenging than structured data. Sensitive info might hide in less visible or unstructured parts, making it harder to detect and protect from unauthorized access. We have now arrived at the final section of the video, data types and their different use cases. Speaking of use cases, there are numerous examples. I'll share a couple for each data type not to overwhelm you, but to provide a glimpse of practical applications. If you are curious to learn more, drop a comment below and I'll create a dedicated video covering use cases across various industries for each data type. Now, let's circle back to our use cases, starting with structured data. Customer relationship management. Structured data powers CRM systems, which reveal customer behavior and patterns for targeted marketing and increased engagement. The other use case, is supply chain management, where structured data supports supply chain optimization by providing real-time visibility into inventory levels, facilitating demand forecasting, and enhancing overall operational efficiency. Unstructured data. Its primary use case is predictive data analytics. Leveraging unstructured data, predictive analytics alerts businesses about significant market shifts enabling proactive planning and timely adjustments. Other one is fraud detection in finance. Unstructured data is instrumental in finance for fraud detection, analyzing unconventional patterns and behaviors to safeguard against financial irregularities. Speaking of semi-structured data, customer feedback processing. Businesses process semi-structured data from customer feedback forms, extracting valuable information to improve products, services, and overall customer satisfaction. Other one, log file analysis for IT operations. In IT operations, semi-structured data from log files is analyzed to detect anomalies, troubleshoot issues, and optimize system performance for enhanced reliability. There you have it a comprehensive journey through the landscape of structured, semi-structured, and unstructured data. We delved into their characteristics, storage mechanisms, pros and cons, along with the real-world applications. If this exploration has sparked your curiosity and you want to dive even deeper into the world of data, drop a comment below. As always, your feedback matters. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing. Thanks for your time and attention. See you in the next video.